Today, we're going to navigate the maze of confusion and discomfort associated with the challenging childhood problem known as oppositional defiant disorder or ODD. We're going to provide you with some much needed relief and understanding. So let's get started. I'm Greg Bear. Tap those like and subscribe buttons and you'll be the first to know when I post more about these life-changing parenting tips, including additional ones about ODD. This is a very common disorder. Current studies estimate that ODD exists in as many as 12% of children. Freak me out. And the medical website most often searched on the subject of ODD emphatically states that, quote, experts don't know what causes ODD. Now, that's a horrible condition, right? So we've got a disorder that is, one, so common that it's found in one in eight children, and two, where the cause is not known. Crazy. After 30 years of extensive experience with these kids, I can state for a fact that ODD is actually more common than estimated, that the cause of ODD is known, and with courageous parents who understand the right principles, treatment and prevention are possible, better than possible, likely. Children with ODD are known for frequent outbursts of anger, arguing about everything, refusing to listen to the instruction of adults, questioning and defying rules, intentionally behaving in ways that just torment people, especially adults, taking no responsibility for their mistakes or behaviors, um, constant irritability, of course, always blaming other people. Many people, when they hear these symptoms, say, well, sounds kind of like your average middle school or high school student. Yeah which supports my certainty that ODD is everywhere. Does that mean you're doomed? No, absolutely not. We all just need some guidance. These kids are not doomed. Stay calm. We're going to get to the solutions. But first, the question, what is the cause of ODD? We've got to be able to answer that. Until you can, you'll be confused and helpless with your child. And almost no experts can answer the question, as we just talked about on the website. We cannot understand our children until we first realize that what we all need more than anything is to feel loved. As proven by many studies, love is the ingredient necessary for happiness. And without it, we will be in pain. We will feel small and helpless, and we hate that. Well, so do our kids. Listen closely. Our children are in pain because they don't feel sufficiently loved by us. Yes, I know you love your children as well as you can, but you were not given the kind of love you needed as a child either, so you don't have that kind of love to give. Love is both the reason for our children's pain and also the answer, but we have to understand that not just any kind of love will do. The word alone is not enough. What we all need is unconditional love or real love, which means to care about another person without any thought for something in return. In real love, there is no disappointment or irritation. You didn't get that kind of love with no disappointment or anger, so you don't have it to give your kids. Now, how would I know that you didn't get sufficient unconditional love? Well, look at your own childhood. Remember how many times your parents and others rolled their eyes at your mistakes. Or they criticized your performance, especially with a tone in their voice. Or they told you that they were disappointed in you with their words, their facial expression. Or you just needed somebody to talk to and there was nobody there. On each of these occasions, you didn't feel loved unconditionally because you weren't being. Even if it was just by simple neglect, nothing aggressive, and you felt the message, I don't love you. Really. Whether you consciously remember each event or not, it was like being poked with a stick, and our children have the same pain. All of us, including our children, must be unconditionally loved and taught. We've got to be taught how to maintain our feelings of worth, how to develop our creativity, how to identify and be responsible for our feelings. When children don't feel unconditionally loved, they try anything that will earn our approval or protect them. From feeling worthless. They try to please us, to earn praise, but that wears off. And then they try whining, complaining, disappearing into screens, 
and the anger, fighting, resisting, and all that that identify ODD. To be plain, the reason your child is angry and defiant is that you simply were not loved unconditionally yourself, not your fault, not your parents' fault either. And now you don't know how to give that life-giving ingredient to your kids. And you're doing your best, but your disappointment or irritation or just just lack of connection with your child, all of which happen much more often than you think, are crushing and painful to them. Don't feel guilty. It all began with the love you didn't get yourself. Take the first step right now. Say out loud these words. My child has ODD because of my disappointment, irritation, or lack of emotional connection, which proves that I simply don't know how to love my child unconditionally. Yes, that hurts to say, but now we can talk about truly effective solutions. You can now learn how to find the real love your child needs more than anything. You can learn how to give it to your child in a consistent and reliable way. You can learn what happens when your child is happy and free from pain. Watch your child's anger and defiance disappear naturally along with improvements in school performance, chores, and relationships without pushing, nagging, and controlling. Watch your children turn to you for more affection. Imagine that. Allow your tears to fall as you see your child feel loved and even become more loving to his or her siblings. When children are not in pain, they become who they were meant to be. They become their true selves, curious, creative, cooperative, involved, connected, They become more responsible in ways you can't imagine till you see it happen. How could you want more for your child than that? You don't have to figure all this out on your own. It's already been figured, thoroughly tested and written. Go to realloveparents.com and begin with the free chapter of the effective parenting training. We all want a quick fix. Who doesn't? That's like, you know, a short list of things to do. But that never, ever works with significant problems. What I'm offering in the training works consistently, not kidding, if you are committed to doing it. But it does involve learning on your part, and right there is where most parents quit. I hope for you that you keep going and find the relief, even the joy that you're looking for. It's been fun talking to you. And until I see you again, remember that with children, it's always about the love, and it's always about the parents. 